Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Got some packages here. I probably, do I need to describe what's going on here? I'm sure it's in the title and thumbnail. New plants. These are some heliconias that I ordered from Nature Hills online. They're a pretty big website. They do a lot of plant selling, kind of up there with fast growing trees. If you do a lot of online shopping for plants, you've probably heard of them. A couple weeks ago, I placed an order for some heliconias and uh, I was really surprised by the packaging and the way the plants looked when they arrived. I couldn't believe that it was something that I hadn't filmed and I wanted some more so I figured I'd order some more and this time do what I'm do my job right and show everybody what's going on in here what to expect when you order for them at least from my experience. These are some very big boxes for the plants that are in there. I'm fine with the main thing I care about when it comes to plants and shipping is how are they packaged? There's only one way to answer that question. Have a look at them. First thing though that you need to observe with these packages, big plain boxes, nowhere does it say anything about what direction they need to go. When you pick them up, you can clearly feel that there's more weight on one end than the other. You just have to take my word for it. My name and address is written all over the other two sides of those. Nothing on this side, nothing over here, nothing over here as far as what direction they should be going. And then the other side is all address and shipping information. Got a couple staples in here holding this shut, which means it should be pretty easy to open. Don't have a lot of tape to cut. I have my box cutters out here with me just in case. Oh, it looked, the plant looks good. Can you look at that? Doesn't that, it's so, oh, it's so pretty. Yes, this is looking good. Much better than the last one that I received in the mail. That looks so nice. Heliconia Sidericorum Chocanianas. Good sized developed plant. So here's how they hold the plants in place. You see this? See that piece of cardboard right here? It's, I don't know if they did it differently this time, but last time you just gave it a tug and it pulled right out. It is stapled in though. That's good. Last time, those were not stapled in place. So the plants were just flying all over the place inside of the packages. Just a teeny tiny little bit of dirt in the bottom. Not a big deal. Go ahead and get this first one set over here. We'll have a look at all of them when I'm done. The pot is in a plastic bag with drawstrings on it, but the drawstrings are, well, they're not tied up and secured. So it's just loose soil all over the place. I don't really get hung up about that. Whenever I order plants online, I expect some breakage, some dirt to be spilled. It's just the name of the game with mail ordering plants. I'm not a stickler with those sorts of things. I usually expect some breakage in the container spilled dirt. Probably shouldn't be talking while that noise is going on. Look at that. Another one. Another good one. See it? Look at it. That's a nice one. Again, pull that cardboard insert out. Now that one's not tied shut either. So not much soil spilled in the container. That's good. Okay, this one I have to open away from you because my address is written on the side with the staples. Fold that back and pull this open. This is good. Quick and easy on packaging. I love that. I like the plastic bags. It's not the most efficient way <laughs> to keep the soil from spilling, but it does make unpacking them so much easier <laughs> than all the soil that's excess, the stuff that's spilled out. Let's pour it back in there. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of these unwrapped and then get these boxes cut up and thrown into the recycling and can talk a little bit more about the plants over here. I got another plant in the mail today and look at what they did here. This side up with air. Let's put in it. That's how hard you just have it. Just write it down the back. It's not complicated. It, this is a vast improvement from the last order of heliconias that I got from them. I should have filmed it. Just believe me when I tell you it wasn't good. Here are three of the four. They're in the ground already. So there's not much to say about them. They're growing. They're fine. The packaging on the outside looks pretty good with those, but two of the four, the pots were sliced like all the way in half. They were useless. Don't know why the pots were even there. <laughs> and then two of them were upside down. They weren't necessarily upside down. That piece of cardboard that was in there was just loose and flopping around. So one of them, when I opened it, the plant was upside down. So here's that one. Need to give that a cut back. Not looking very good, right? Because the package was upside down. The other one that had been tossed around was fine. It wasn't a big deal. I guess it got lucky and didn't get smushed. Didn't get tossed around all that much. These were secured much better. This is good and <laughs> not that useful. All I can really say now is I don't really know what to think. Got very different results between the two different orders. Ooh, I have some pots 
that these would look good in. I'm thinking maybe one in front of each one of these beach planters. That might look good. These, this one right here, and that a cute pot. They match the big pots that the bamboo and everything are in over there. Pardon all the motion. Hope not making anybody sick. I could put one right there with a the heliconia. I'm grab this other one here. I may end up needing to adjust some things and having things just around as twos sometimes bugs me so I may not like how this looks. And then pick out my two favorites. This one, this is a good one. It's got a lot of flowers on it. Lots of inflorescence is inflorescence, 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 I don't know. And then yeah, it's a draw between these two. These both look nice. Drop that in there. Yeah, look at, doesn't it look nice with the Vinca? Really bringing in that beachy vibe. I like that. I don't know if I like them sitting right next to these pots though. Looks a little random and out of place. It's fine. That wasn't the point of this video. We're just talking about nature hills and how the plants look. They look pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this order. The communication with the website was good. I haven't, well, I guess I didn't talk to them specifically, but the shipment notification came right away. The tracking information was how it should be. Each one of these had a piece of paper in the package with it, and that was just its own individual invoice. They were all in separate boxes. They all had their own tracking number. The rest of that is really on FedEx. That's who they shipped through. Not all that cheap, and I don't think, let me look at my invoice. I don't think shipping was very cheap either. Oh, 20 bucks. That's not bad at all. Considering the size of those packages, and they showed up in about four days. They say ships in seven to 10 days, weather permitting, of course. And then once I got that invoice, they were here and I think these shipped out on a Monday or Tuesday and then they arrived on a Friday. That also is something that's, I'm sure going to vary depending on where you live and when you place your orders. The plants themselves weren't very cheap though, right? They were, I think 55, 57 bucks, something like that, a pop. Of course, yeah, the shipping 20 bucks, but I'm sure there's displacement figures in there. When you factor in the cost of the plants, they did a good job this time. I have no complaints. What do you have? Is it something you're supposed to have? Just a stick? It's okay. It's all right. You can show on sticks. That's okay. Good boy. And it can be difficult to get plants this size that have this little damage on them. So even though they didn't do a ton as far as packaging goes, these look pretty much how they would had I gone to a nursery and picked them up. Maybe a few broken leaves and whatnot. That's really just to be expected when ordering plants online. I don't care about that. I'm a little on the fence as to whether or not these are Sidericorum chocanianas because of the redness and that extra leaf that's up there. Chacos tend to be much more yellow and don't have the red in them. This is giving me more Andromeda vibes or some other type. There are a lot of Sidericorum type heliconias that look a lot like the chocanianas and the Andromedas, which are the most common ones to see around at the nurseries. Not up here where I live, but further down south, there's just, there are a lot of in-betweens. So whatever the case, I don't care. They're beautiful and I actually, I like them more than what I typically see with a Chaconiana. Much more, they have good color on them. Gotta say, I'm relieved that the plants showed up looking as good as they do. I don't like having to, not trash a company, but just show off bad products. Even though I spent a lot of time talking about the problems with the last time I ordered from them. One of the reasons that I did this video, I had people ask me when I planted up those heliconias and I talked about what had gone on with the shipping, where I got them from, and then I said Nature Hills. But I think it's important to give a queer picture. And the queer, the queerest picture I can give you is I don't, I couldn't tell you what to expect because there's a night and day difference between what I got this time and last time. Plants themselves, though, I would say this is fairly consistent results. But you can see if I come in here, get up close and drop my exposure down so I'm not in the shade anymore. Not the same, right? These heliconias are different, but I don't care. They're beautiful. I think that the ones that I got in this batch look better. They may have gotten them from a different supplier. Last time, the ones that came in, I saw this pot right here had a sticker on the side that said Heliconia, Chaconiana Dwarf. You, oh, and here's an example of the quality of the pots. This is, it showed up like this. Don't know if they broke during shipping, what happened? Maybe the FedEx drivers were having a rough day. <laughs> I don't know. But they have a really large selection of plants. I'm sure people who are watching this maybe have ordered from them before or think about ordering from them. But here you go. Hopefully this is helpful, but I would imagine it probably wasn't. This is a helpful community. Check out the comments section. If you've ordered from them before, let us know your experiences. What have you gotten? How was shipping? Ever had to return anything? Were the warranties good? Whatever you gotta say, put it down in there. Let us all know. And just say hi. I love talking to everybody. 
seeing what's going on in people's gardens, some fun places that you're ordering plants from. Do we like the pots here? I can't decide. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. That's usually the way my brain works. I'd like it better if there was a medium size in between these two, so there'd be three pots, but I also don't want that many pots around the pool because it's just, that's too much dirt near the water. I don't feel like dealing with all that mess. I have another spot where I think these would look fantastic, so that's fine if I decide to move them. I may end up just moving them around because they're in little containers as it is. I, I, it's, I should go. I'm happy. The plants look lovely. Fantastic, actually. I'm very easy to please when it comes to heliconias. That's, that's, it's a low bar. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. He knows it's time to swim. It's time to swim some laps, Turbo. Bye-bye.